Welcome to our The World Brief program. Today, we've got a blend of financial flutters, diplomatic dances, and legislative leaps to share with you. First off, Hong Kong Stock Exchange felt a chill as Chinese AI firm Mavoy's debut turned sour, marking the third consecutive IPO flop in the city. This incident has added a bit of gloom to Hong Kong's financial scene, which hasn't been having the best year, to say the least. In a more uplifting turn of events, the U.S. Senate has decided to open its wallet wide, approving a whopping $95 billion aid package destined for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. This financial lifeline is aimed at bolstering these countries against various challenges, from military threats to humanitarian crises. It's a move that's sure to have global ramifications, and not just because it includes the sale of Russian assets for Ukraine's benefit. Lastly, we're zooming into the diplomatic realm where U.S. Secretary of State Antony J. Blinken is packing his bags for China. Amidst a backdrop of tension and tough talk, Blinken's visit is all about trying to keep the peace and perhaps iron out a few wrinkles in the U.S.-China relationship. With the U.S. Senate's recent aid to Taiwan adding a bit of spice to the mix, Blinken's trip could either be a step towards détente or another log on the fire of international rivalry. So, stay tuned for the detailed scoop on these stories. Please continue to watch for more details. In a world where geopolitics and financial markets are more intertwined than ever, recent events have underscored the volatility and uncertainty that define our times. From the bustling stock exchange in Hong Kong to the corridors of power in Washington, D.C., and the tense diplomatic arenas between the U.S. and China, a series of developments have captured global attention, each with its own implications for international relations and economic stability. Starting in the financial hub of Asia, Hong Kong has witnessed a disheartening trend for companies making their initial public offerings, IPOs. According to Nikkei Asia, the Chinese AI firm Mavoy experienced a significant setback, with its stock plummeting over 20% on its Hong Kong debut. This marked the third consecutive IPO flop in the city, following the underwhelming performances of Sichuan Cha Baidao, a tea shop chain, and Tianjin Construction Development Group, a construction company. These incidents have not only dampened the spirits of potential investors but also added to the gloomy outlook for Hong Kong's stock market, which has been labeled as Asia's worst performer this year. The story of Mavoy serves as a stark reminder of the challenges and uncertainties that lie within the volatile world of stock markets, particularly in regions fraught with economic and political tensions. Across the Pacific, the United States Senate has made headlines with the passage of a significant aid package, as reported by Al Jazeera. This legislative move will see $95 billion allocated to support Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, with the lion's share directed towards Ukraine in its ongoing conflict with Russian forces. The package also includes substantial aid for Israel, humanitarian assistance for nations like Sudan, Haiti, and Gaza, and over $8 billion in military support for Taiwan. A notable provision within the bill empowers President Joe Biden to confiscate and sell Russian assets to fund Ukraine's reconstruction illustrating the U.S.'s firm stance against Russian aggression and its commitment to supporting allies and partners in strategic regions. This legislative action, which has been the subject of intense debate among lawmakers for months, underscores the complexities of international aid and the geopolitical considerations that drive such decisions. Meanwhile, the diplomatic arena is bracing for potential turbulence as U.S. Secretary of State Antony J. Blinken prepares for a visit to China, amidst a backdrop of escalating tensions between the two superpowers. The New York Times highlights the myriad issues that loom over Blinken's mission, from trade disputes and territorial claims to national security concerns. This visit is particularly charged in light of the U.S. Senate's recent approval of a bill providing substantial aid to Taiwan and the Indo-Pacific region, which Beijing is likely to view with suspicion. The specter of the upcoming U.S. presidential election further complicates matters, with both major political parties eager to showcase their toughness on China. Blinken's agenda is expected to address a range of contentious topics, including China's support for Russia, the impact of Chinese exports on American jobs, and the aggressive maneuvers by Chinese ships in the South China Sea. Conversely, Chinese officials are anticipated to raise issues concerning American support for Taiwan and perceived discriminatory trade restrictions. The uncertainty surrounding Blinken's potential meeting with Chinese leader Xi Jinping adds another layer of intrigue to this diplomatic endeavor. These developments, spanning the financial, legislative, and diplomatic spheres, paint a picture of a world grappling with complex challenges. From the struggles of companies seeking to navigate the treacherous waters of public markets in Hong Kong to the strategic calculations behind the U.S.'s aid package and the delicate dance of diplomacy between the U.S. and China, these stories reflect the multifaceted nature of global affairs. As nations and companies alike strive to secure their interests and navigate an ever-shifting landscape, 
the outcomes of these events will undoubtedly have far-reaching implications for international relations, economic stability, and the global balance of power. In a world that seems to be constantly shifting, the United States finds itself retreating from a crucial part of the globe, according to a report by the Washington Post. The country has been compelled to withdraw its forces from Niger following the coup leader's declaration that the U.S. military presence was illegal. This development is particularly concerning as it follows a similar directive in Chad, where the U.S. was ordered to cease operations at a base also utilized by French troops. These moves are not just a logistical setback but are perceived as significant blows to Western counterterrorism efforts in the Sahel region. The vacuum left by the U.S. retreat is feared to pave the way for increased influence from Russia and Iran in the area. Russia has wasted no time, already deploying military trainers to Niger. Meanwhile, China has solidified its foothold by making a substantial $400 million advance payment for crude oil purchases from Niger's Agadem field. This retreat is part of a broader pattern where successive coup plotting regimes in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger have ousted weak civilian-led governments, increasingly turning towards Russia and China for support. This geopolitical shift raises concerns about the future stability and security of the region, highlighting the complex interplay of international relations and the fight for influence in strategic parts of the world. On a lighter note, the Associated Press brings us a story of inspiration and representation in the form of a Barbie doll. Olympic figure skater Christy Yamaguchi, who captivated the world with her grace and skill, is now being celebrated in a unique way. Mattel announced on April 28 that it is releasing a Barbie doll modeled after Yamaguchi as part of its Inspiring Women series. This honor is particularly poignant as Yamaguchi was the first Asian American to win an individual figure skating gold medal at the 1992 Winter Olympics. The doll, adorned in the outfit Yamaguchi wore during her historic Olympic performance, is set to be released in May, coinciding with Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Yamaguchi expressed her delight, stating she was tickled pink by the gesture. This initiative by Mattel not only celebrates Yamaguchi's remarkable achievements but also serves as a beacon of inspiration for young girls everywhere, especially those from Asian American and Pacific Islander communities. It's a testament to the power of representation and the importance of celebrating diverse role models who have paved the way for future generations. These two narratives, while vastly different in context, both touch upon the themes of change, influence, and inspiration. From the geopolitical shifts in the Sahel region to the celebration of cultural heritage and individual achievement through a Barbie doll, these stories reflect the complex tapestry of our world. They remind us of the challenges we face, the heroes we look up to, and the continuous need for positive representation in all spheres of life. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.